Hello, you're tuned into this fresh new edition of Mutual Fund YouTube Corner. Uh, we discuss everything around mutual funds on the show. And today we are going to be discussing all about asset allocation and how it will be important in your investment journey. We have with us Vinay Joseph, the Head Investment Products and Strategy, Standard Chartered Bank Wealth India. Vinay, thank you so much for joining us on CNBC TV 18. Well, that's exactly my first question because we speak about asset allocation, but can you tell us how important is this in someone's investment journey? Thank you, Sonal, for inviting me for the show. Getting your asset allocation correct is your first step to your financial well-being. Now, asset allocation is important because there is history suggests no single asset class does well year after year. Just a point for note, in 2022, Nifty small cap and global equities were the worst performing asset class. But in 23, as of first half, we have seen the reverse happen. So asset allocation is critical to your long-term health and for your investment journey. It helps you to diversify because different asset classes work different under different market conditions. And by having a diversified portfolio, you minimize the risk of your portfolio. The second reason why asset allocation is very important is because it inculcates a discipline. By having an asset allocation approach, you will end up investing in assets and with a long-term view, and you will not try to time the market. The third and the most important reason is that this helps curtail your investor biases, which you would have. Now in markets is a cycle of emotions. In bullish markets, we will be where greed and envy are the prime emotions. Whereas in bearish markets, fear and panic grips us. Now we have a concept of FOMO and COMO. I just wanted to deliberate that and why is it important asset allocation is there in that. When in bullish markets, you will have a trend which runs up ridiculously high or there is a bubble. But as investors, we feel the urge to invest in that and we run after it because of the fear of missing out or FOMO creeps on us which is very detrimental to your long-term investment horizon, as well as returns. The opposite happens in, in case of bearish markets. Because of panic and uncertainty, we sit out and the cost of missing out is drastic. Just for an example, if you took a Nifty market analysis over the last 23 years, Nifty index has given about 11.5% annualized return. Just taking out the top 10 trading days, that returns drops to 7.4%. And if you take out the top 20 trading days, it's below 5% or less than cash returns. Another interesting point is that nine of the 10 best trading days have occurred within two weeks of the 10 worst trading days. So you just cannot time the market. By having an asset allocation approach, you will have that discipline to maintain that asset. And when you see prices falling, you will take you will realize within your asset, you're lower uh, allocated. So you'll try to increase that allocation. The last point why asset allocation is important is it's a key principle to ensure that you balance between risk and return. I think in India, we have a lot of concept on return, but people don't understand the risk which is there. Any high return would have its risk, which means that you could have significant downturns or even loss of capital in that particular asset class. And that's where having a well-diversified portfolio of across assets will ensure that you have assets which are uncorrelated and reduce your this, uh, risk in your portfolio overall. Okay, we take that point. So Vinay, um, when we talk about, you did indicate a lot what happened in the small cap space, why asset allocation is important as well. Tell us, how do mutual funds help here? How can one look at mutual funds and look at uh, portfolio allocation and ensure their investment journey is smooth? So one is at level one on a pure uh, asset allocation framework where you have a split between equity, debt, cash, and gold. Mutual fund as a product helps you invest across these asset classes. Second is even at the sub asset level. Like if I want exposure to a particular market cap between large, mid and small, or if I want exposure to international equities. Similarly, on the debt side, you have enough funds which can play duration or it can play credit. So a foundation portfolio, which should be around 70% in our view of a client's portfolio, would be a mutual fund portfolio which will play this asset allocation. Because another criteria which is very important in asset allocation 
is liquidity. And mutual funds as a product is the most liquid product, investment product, which is there and the most transparent. And since these are benchmarked with different uh, indexes, and that's what forms the basis for calculating your optimal return on asset allocation, you can easily benchmark the performance of the product as well as the performance of your asset allocation. And it helps you to tide your journey around the way. Okay, we take that point and thank you for making sense there. So. Uh, give me a sense of who would you suggest to allocate in a certain way. Say, if someone is a risk taker, someone is conservative, someone is medium risk, how would you split their portfolio? That's a very topical question. And uh, if some people make it a little simplistic asset allocation because people say that one way of doing your asset allocation is m minus your age 100. So if you're 35, means 35% you put in debt, 75% you put in equity. But that's not a very structured way of doing asset allocation because it is not based on the fundamentals of that asset class. You have not checked the risk return of that asset class over time periods and over some business cycle. So it's important to have first a very structured framework of how you do your asset allocation. And that's where mutual funds play a big role. So if you're a conservative clients, obviously you would have much more allocation to fixed income and cash related assets, which basically will give you an income. So there you would have to see assets where or funds uh, in the short maturity funds, corporate bond funds. These are funds which will form a core allocation of your fixed income bas uh, basket, which will give you liquidity as well as ensure that your medium small term goals are met through. For a moderate risk profile client, there your equity allocations tends to increase where you can move up to 50%. But there you will also spend more of your allocation in equity uh -huh to the large cap space, flexi cap, and have a little bit of mid and small because your risk of in, uh, taking ability is not so much that I can take aggressive risk by taking thematic or small cap funds. But as we go into aggressive where 80% becomes your equity portfolio, in that case, you will have a little bit more allocation to small cap funds, to mid cap funds, and also to certain thematic funds. The caution on thematic funds is never start your asset allocation with thematic or sectoral funds because these are basically opportunistic ideas which work when because of a particular theme is doing well at that particular level of the cycle. So it is, you will have to time it a little better, your entry and exit points. Okay, we take that point. So last question before we let you go, can you give us a sense of what are certain things which need to be kept in mind uh, while asset allocation, something that someone should be aware of? So the first and most important part of your asset allocation is that have a structure, have a plan in place uh, with your advisor or on your own. If, you're, if you don't have that bit of having an advisor, I think mutual funds have a fantastic product in the hybrid space where you can, from a conservative to an aggressive clients, divide your allocation. But in that case, you are allowing the fund house to take the call and, you're, uh, and advise on your portfolio. And you can have different portfolio from multi-asset uh, funds to aggressive hybrid to high uh, balance advantage, as well as conservative uh, hybrid uh, uh, equity arbitrage funds. Uh, for an investor who wants to uh, regularly track, the important part is also to review and regular, uh, review your portfolio on a regular basis. A six month or one year cycle is a good enough cycle to review your portfolio. Uh, the reason why it's important is because when your asset allocation market movements tends to move your asset class exposure five to 10% up and down. It's very normal in a year, which you have that. And by uh, reviewing it, you will systematically invest in that. And because of that, you will also not have the urge to try to time the market or be worried that the market has fallen because by looking at, at different assets at what level they have the exposures, you're able to take the call when to add or reduce, which is there. The second and the most important part also on asset allocation is don't go over diversify also. Diversification is a critical thing, but you have to have also how much I can uh, put uh, the number of funds I have, the number of products I have. So try to play more at the asset level, try to keep it simplistic, uh, but have a structured way and ensure that you have enough diversification and uh, a proper plan and review it so that you over the time period, you can track it to your financial goals and achieve financial success. 
Okay, all right. Vinay, thank you so much for joining us today and making sense uh, of the asset allocation part of investing. It's very important, sometimes missed, but uh, you made sense today and thank you so much for guiding up viewers as well. With that, we'll take your leave on this edition of Mutual Fund YouTube Corner. Stay tuned for more updates.